In Python 3.12, we have much cleaner syntax for creating type aliases. And this type alias, which you can import from typing, is deprecated as of Python 3.12 in favor of the new type statement, which is a soft keyword. And this type statement creates instances of something that's called a type alias type, which natively supports forward references. Anyway, let's get started by creating a type alias, and then I'm going to show you how we can use the new type statement to achieve the same purpose with some extra benefits. So on this example, we have a type called int or string. And as you might have guessed it, this can either be an integer or a string, and this will be of type type alias. So here we're telling the static type checker that this is a type alias, and that's of type int or string. And that works perfectly fine. But as of Python 3.12, we now have this new approach, which I personally think is much cleaner. And to use it, all we have to do is type in type, and we will do the same thing, int or string, and that's going to equal int or string. And in my opinion, this looks much more beautiful. It's much easier to read. The purpose of it makes much more sense than the old verbose syntax. And if you start to group these, for example, if you have a coordinate as well, which is of type tuple of float and float, you'll see that they just fit nicely together. Now we know exactly that these are meant to be types, but there's something else that's nice about it. And to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to remove all of this. And I'm going to be creating something that's called fruit or none. And here we're going to create a type which is of fruit or none. So now we can create a class called fruit. And this code will run perfectly fine, even if we created the class of fruit after we created the type of fruit, which is pretty cool if you want to create a type out of something that doesn't exist just yet. And finally, this also works with generics quite well. For example, we might have something called my sequence, which takes a generic type, and that will equal sequence of this generic type. And that's all it took to create this generic type. So as you can see, Python 3.12 completely simplifies the process of creating type aliases in Python. But that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. Do let me know what you think about this new syntax, whether you are excited to use it or whether you prefer the old syntax. I would love to hear about it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.